Hey everyone, it's Luke here from LT Gaming, and I'm back with some gamer news. Today I'm going to take a look at the Roan vs Carthage DLC, which is out on the 19th of September for Imperium's Greek Wars. Now Tom already did a should you buy for this, which I'll leave in the description, so I'm not going to go too deep into this today. I just want to run over the cool features and give my quick impression of the game so far, as I have been playing it as well as Tom. Before we get into it, drop down, like, subscribe, let us know what you think of the game and all the other content on the channel, and make sure to check out all the games that we have covered because we have a lot of content out there now. Now we have that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about the game. Now I previously said in the opening statement that Tom did a should you buy, he covered the original game, not the DLC. I actually decided to pick the game up and play the DLC Age of Alexander. So most of my experience of the game comes from playing as Egypt during that very cool period. Not cool for Alexander, but very cool period of history after Alexander the Great died. And it really is a fun game for me. There are some downsides. I mean, Tom went over in his should you buy. The graphics could do with a little bit more polish. There is some aspects of the gameplay that can be a bit frustrating sometimes, and I don't think that the tutorial does itself any favours. But overall, this is a really good and quite unusual 4x strategy game. It does things differently, and I like that. It's very focused on resource management and the ability to expand your empire and build new cities within these established um, empires like Egypt and Rome is a very cool concept, and I've really enjoyed the game. War can be quite simple, but I think on the surface it looks simple. Once you dig below and look at what's going on under the hood, there is actually quite a complex system going on here, and a lot for the strategy gamer to dive into. Overall, my impressions of the original game were that it is very good, it sits in that sort of 8 out of 10 area, and I think if you're into this period of history, that pushes up even higher. A particular highlight of this game is the stellar score. It's absolutely beautiful, and I know some people turn music off in games. I think that you're weirdos, but anyway, I love listening to classical scores like this, and the soundtrack is one of the best I've come across. Right, now we've covered my thoughts on the original game, Let's take a look at what's coming in the Rome vs Carthage DLC. It's essentially a really big scenario with a huge map that covers all of the interesting areas of this era. So you're looking at a map that extends from Iberia to Babylon and from the wild, seemingly uninhabited wilderness beyond the Alps to the Arabian Desert. There are 25 states waiting for you and you can play as all of them and rewrite history in a very glorious and pompous manner of the era. Also, very interesting to play as Rome in this time, as Carthage, and also as the successors in the east to Alexander the Great's empire. Other features in the DLC include migrating tribes that will be eager to create their own kingdoms and upset the status quo within your game. You will also have multi-turn events to keep things fresh. There's also things like the Olympic Games, which I took part in, and that has been quite immersive and good fun and brings you in to the world even deeper. There's also historical events that take place, and something that I really enjoyed was the mandatory objective. So I had to pick a direction for my empire, which was I chose to expand east with my settlers to claim more land. I had so many turns to do that, and it gives you a bit more... I would say immersion into the political, economic and military situations of your country. It's a very interesting DLC. I have probably put around four to five hours into it so far, so not enough to really give a, a review, but certainly to get a strong impression that it definitely adds to the base game. If you haven't played the base game, I would encourage you to check out Tom's Should You Buy, because I really think the game is worth the money. It's very different and quite refreshing to play for the reasons I outlined in the beginning. Right, so that was upcoming gamer news. The expansion pack for Imperium's Greek Wars, adding to their already existing Age of Alexander and the free Troy expansion that they have also. Definitely check out the base game. Really do consider the DLC. As like I said, this is a very fun 4X and very unique in the genre and also a really nice development team that support the game 
it's great to see that on Steam, they go back to most of the reviews and are very active with their community. And I think that's something in this day and age that should really be applauded. Right, so a quick Flash Gamer news from us here at LT Gaming. As always, like, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.